Hey guys, what the heck is going on? Sam here with Team Bro Power. We are on game number three, round one, Team Bro Power tournament, and this is going to be crazy. We're here with Tyler Giancetto. What's up, man? Not much, buddy. So you guys know him really as the, uh, you guys know him as the dude that completely just slayed last round with the Dragon Rings, and it was just absolutely nuts, man. He, uh, from now on, forever, any platform, wherever, anybody needs to know Tyler Giancetto as the Dragon Nudity king of all time. <laughs> it was crazy man what's good dude how are you doing man i'm doing great um i know that somebody is going to immediately comment that somewhere somewhere in gosh i don't know where phoenix is from but somewhere uh phoenix flare x is like screaming internally yeah. when you call me the king of virginity <laughs> <laughs> um so shout out to him um but I'm just looking. I, this uh, I have no idea what either of these guys are playing. Yeah, me neither. So, it's yeah. Like we were talking, we were already seeing like Nurse Burn as people. Like it's it's crazy because you like you rely a lot of stuff on people's profile pictures. You see a Drac and the Nurse Burn, so you're just like, well. Right. <laughs> right. I mean, I had the I had the ducks in my uh, profile, second thing. Yeah. Um. So it's been quite a strong opening play from Master Lockman. Uh. Not as much as my. Oh my God. Oh, Cardian. No. I don't know whether to be like no. Yeah. <laughs> I've never. I've never like actually seen Cardians just full on. Yeah. This is this is one of the few decks that I refuse to pick up IRL. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I actually. I actually have two friends that have very different. Well, I don't know if different opinions, but uh, one of them was actually in this tournament. I don't know if I should say one. Um, but he played Cardians uh, IRL for about a week and then dropped it because he just got really sick yeah. of it. And I know, I I know somebody, kind of fun. somebody talked with him recently. What is this? Um, okay, what is this? Dude? Choose three uh, so, flower Cardians with different names from your deck and place them. Uh, it's basically like the like the, the OG big guy okay. except for three Cardians. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, and I know the spells have great effects. I'm not, I know they all have like effect, like on summon, and I'm not sure if drawing is a cost. Okay. I know that was a big thing that I was like super fuzzy on. Um, but I know they like, when they're all summoned, they draw a card, and then if it's a Cardian, they do things like with special summoning on the yeah. top and things. Yeah, dude, I've seen, uh, I've seen builds with this, um, on like Exodia and stuff like that. I've seen people actually do really well um, right. playing Exodia. I know, all, I, all I know is that they're like, they're, all their stats are like horrible. They're all like level yeah. 5, yeah. 100 attack, <laughs> you know? Right. But, but I, well, and, they, well, and they draw. And I, I mean, the levels, are, the levels are pretty irrelevant. Yeah. Just because like, I think when you, I don't know if it's the tuner's effect or if it's one of the spells effect oh, or true. something. Um, but when you synchro with them, like they all become a two. Okay. And you basically just make a one of the big dudes. I think it's Light Shower and then Five Lights, I want to say are their names. Um, now, you're, you're pretty much an expert on this deck, then, is what you're trying to say. No, I'm really not. <laughs> I just know, like, I know, like, I know what the deck does. I just don't know what the individual cards do. Yeah, yeah. Except for the spells. The two spells, I know what they do. Um, it's. Oh, you see, popping a Yang Zing. Oh, okay. So, so I was wondering why he just kind of sat and passed, and I was just like, "Well, yeah, okay." I mean, but Yang Zings is kind of like uh, you can't really. See, I don't. I don't really know a whole lot of cards in the game that could spin. Interesting. Up face plays, right? So what is okay? So Toady Toady does. Um, well, yeah, I reckon the, that's the uh, brick of the Yang Zing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so he he can. He's bigger than any of the Cardians attack for sure. So I know that they probably can't get over unless he unless he has a synchro play. Unless he has a synchro sure. play. Sure. Which he very well could because if this turn goes the way I think it might go, especially since he just flashed two Cardians, yeah. um, this might get ugly really quickly. Um Or it could go on I'm for actually, like a really long time. <laughs> right, right. Um, Either or I'm actually I'm actually kind of surprised to see Cloud Guy. Yeah. And that kind of tells me, I mean, I could be wrong here, but that for, that tells me that he's probably not playing a hybrid, that he's probably just playing Fury Yang Zing. Yeah, for sure. As opposed to, like, 
as opposed to like Zephyra or Metal Flow or something like that. Yeah, which I actually really like those builds. Those builds are scary. Yeah. Um, like, like, oh my god. Yeah, yeah. People don't play. People don't play like pure decks anymore. Like it's always got to be Metal Flow, Yangzing, Zoo mixed with something else, and blah blah blah. You know, you got to give it to the people that actually play the pure skills. So I mean, I remember when when Yangzings first came out, like two thousand. Fourteen or something. I think it's fourteen. Yeah, yeah dude. I was. Uh, um, dude, it's I got. Alliance, I think. Or no, next round. around at a, at a AOD like, like three rounds in a row, like by Yangzing. I'm like, what is this? Like, stupid deck. I mean, but, I mean no, I, I really, yeah. I really loved the deck, and then I figured out that they were all supers and ultras and secrets, and I was like, damn it, money. I wanted to build this deck. <laughs> um, well, thank God for no, this deck. But I think a big reason that you don't really see pure Yang Zing, especially for Yang Zing specifically, yeah. is just because the deck's biggest problem has always been um, getting the engine started. It's just it's just so slow. Yeah. Like you need your opponent to to pop them. Yep. Um, and then once they figure it, once they figure out, oh, I should just probably stop popping these and swing it, then you're like, what do I do? Yeah. Um, That's why the metal for Yang Zing was so good though. Like they were just right. Yeah, exactly. Because that, you know, yeah. So, um, this is the tuner that you were talking about. Speed yes, this here. is the tuner. Um, I don't know if there's a six, a level six synchro. Because I know I think the tuner makes all the when you synchro, I think it makes all all the guardians level two. Um, I don't know if there's a level six. I know the two like big ones are level eight and level ten. So that would that would make sense out, to. Because you would just be able to go into huh? some, so that would make sense. Because you would just be able to go into like some Star Eater shenanigans if like <laughs> if they stayed right. like level right. seven or <laughs> you know whatever it is. Okay, so um, on the match. Okay, so on the top, um, Master Lockmine. That is Joshua Higgins. For anybody watching on the live stream or watching on YouTube, and then uh, Damian Munoz is the Nurse Burn down. At the bottom, so Damien is the one playing the Cardians. Josh Higgins is the one playing the um, the Yangzings. Maybe he just didn't open that well, though. Um, but I mean, I don't know how you're supposed to open with Yangzings, so I'm not right. Playing. That's what I was gonna say. Like, if he if he is playing pure, which again we don't know. Yeah. But if he is playing pure Yangzings, they really don't have a strong opening, which is why it's a catch twenty two. Yeah. Because like you always want to go first with the deck because you obviously you know. You just want to set your stuff, but at the yeah. same time, you can't really set up a turn one board. Yeah. Unless you have a Kickstarter engine like the Metal Foes or the Zephyrus or something like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Or unless you have Jazu, but even then, that's really just one synchro. And for, for, all we know, for all we know, he could be playing um, the uh, Metal Foes version. I mean, right, he could have and just not drawn them. Yeah. Um, right. So that is entirely possible, which again, we don't know. So, we're doing all this. Talking, we have no idea really what's going on with the Cardians. All I know is that he's spamming out a bunch of yeah. So humongous. if I may try and clear some of this up, and I'm going to emphasize the word try. Um, the last two that he summoned, oh my god, oh. five lights. So he can five lights. This is actually a really big problem for Yang Zhang. Holy crap! Um, okay, so because one plus dude, that dude is it's five thousand attack. Holy crap! Yeah. Oh, it's Life Flare. Oh, they changed the name. I didn't even know that. Um, this is actually a huge problem for Yang Zing, though. Yeah, explain what this card does. So, for those that don't know, which, so, probably all of, and mm -hmm. all of you except for, like, two people. <laughs> um, but uh, this card, it's... I'm, like, half reading it right now. Uh, when your opponent activates the spell or trap once per turn during either player's turn, um, you can negate the activation and destroy it. So it's basically like a Xi'an. Yeah. Um, and then if a flower guardian battles, not just itself, which is very important. Um, so if any guardian battles a monster, that monster's effect is negated during the battle phase. And that follows it into the grave. So basically he's just cut off the entire floater engine as long as this thing lives. Huh. And then if it dies somehow... Um, I legitimately, I'm trying to think how Yang Zing have it, like, actually. Um, they have to, like, force, 
force themselves into a super hard box you play. Um, but that's very hard to do in a simplified game state. But if it dies somehow by battle or card effect, uh, while its owner controls it, and I don't know why that's a stipulation on it, you can summon a flower party in synchro from the extra deck. Huh. So it's like so a, when it, it's like a Dante Pilgrim or whatever the heck it is that just kind of uh, right yeah when it not, and then yeah it's kind of like the I guess Beatrice because it floats into another thing yeah. um, and the other thing is not bad either I'm not sure what 100 percent what it does but I know that it's it has an effect where uh, when your opponent you're basically your opponent takes 1500 whenever they draw from the draw phase or it might even not be from the draw phase yeah. <laughs> Um, I think we might actually see it now. Dude, this is nuts, man. Like it's this... an eight. Yeah, I know the the spell that he just activated. The uh, I forget. I didn't. I didn't was catch what it was called. Gathering or the, but, ga- uh, the is that what it's called? Yeah, ga- okay. uh, gathering. I think. Um, it literally brings back four. It literally says wow. that on the card. Um, weak coordination, rather. No, no, I was gathering. Target flower uh, guardian monster. Graveyard, add it to hand, and it's special summon one flower card monster from your hand, ignoring its own conditions. Press into the graveyard by a flower card monster effect and excavate the top five cards of your deck. Huh. Yeah, all the, I know all the spell and traps are insane. Like, all the spells and traps are really, really good, but the biggest problem with the deck is just like the cardians themselves aren't that good, mm-hmm. unless you have like a bunch of them. I, I'm just like sitting here, like just I have no idea what to even expect. I mean, he looks like, like this is like this is like the perfect open. Was that a kaiju? Whoa! Yeah. Huh? Yeah. I know no. the dark for a lore. <laughs> no, that's actually not bad. This is crazy. I don't even know. It's like, oh my gosh. So you got, uh. Zebra grass, or almost called zebra cake, uh, cardian pine, light flare, which is which is their, is the point of the deck, right? This card, the light flare, that's like what you want. Yeah, that's the, the biggest boss monster. Yeah. That and the other one, that, oh, he just called for six. Interesting. Which one? Which uh, one was the tuner? The uh, the red and I, I can't remember. I never know their names, but the the red and black. The red and brown purple one. So explain, uh, what, the, explain what this thing does. Cardium. This thing, I'm actually not sure. Um, okay, so it does. So it makes all cardians do piercing, which is actually very relevant, I guess, gang thing. Okay. And then once per turn, you can banish a flower cardian from grave, and then until the end of the next of and, blah, 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 until the end of your opponent's next turn, your opponent cannot activate card effects. Cannot activate effects of cards in the graveyard. Also, they cannot special summon from the graveyard. Wow. Okay. So that is literally the anti Yang Zing card. Wow. That is crazy. Uh, yeah. I don't know how our Yang Zing player is going to come back from this. Um, because it's because it's a five life or life player. Sorry, I'm never going to use that. Uh, oh. Regeki isn't even an out here. Wow. Dude, this is nuts, man. Like, are are they, you still are, going? Are are you still going? Still going? None of them are once per turn either. They're all just no. They're they're not, and that's the biggest thing. Like when the deck the deck doesn't get because it's very because just because of how the Cardian's deck functions. Yeah. With you know drawing a card and if it's a Cardian you get to keep going. It tends to be very frail, but when it goes in, it just like you see this. Yeah. Like this is this is what it's quote unquote supposed to do Crazy. when it's functioning properly. And it's like all these spells are like super power cards, but you don't have to open with them because you just get to draw deeper into your deck. Yeah. And then if you mill them, they all have great effects. Okay. So he's going into battle phase. Yeah, going to take 28. That is not an OTK, but that is. So the Yang, the Yang Zing will not float, right? Because. Um... Correct. That will not float because of. I didn't catch if he used the Board of Flies effect to banish. I think he did. I assume he did. Um, yeah, I think he did because that's why there's a monster banish. Um, but even if that, even if the level six wasn't there, then the light flare would stop it from floating. Man, this is not. I, I don't know. I want to see Yang Zing come back though. I mean, I'm just being. Yeah. Oh, there's the Jasu. Okay. Oh my god. 
All right, so this could happen. This could very well happen. This very, this very well could happen. And we've had some now, crazy. We've had some crazy matchups so far, man. Like we've had some. <laughs> I would know. Oh my gosh, but what was it? Yours was Dragon Duty versus Harold. Uh, Harold, Harold. Which ironically, I, that was the other deck I was considering playing. Yeah. Um, and I was like, oh, I'm really glad I didn't play Harold because the mirror match is absolutely cancer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would have been so uh, bad. <laughs> That would have been. Oh, I would not have enjoyed that. I don't, I don't, I don't even know if that would have been fun for you guys. It wouldn't have. <laughs> Especially I would have hated for the people watching. That. <laughs> even if I, even if I won, I would have hated it. Um, if that was the case, rock paper scissors would have really just been the end of the match. Oh yeah, for sure. Whoever whoever goes first. Oh yeah, no. It's literally like okay, whoever summons Harold first, and then just negate the original spell. Yeah. GG. <laughs> Pretty much. Um. So we're gonna see. I think the docs here. here. And that'll spin three cards. Assuming it's not good. Dude, I don't know. This is crazy. Like, usually I'm sitting here yeah. talking every match about, like, oh, well, they're going to do this and this and this and this. And I, but I'm yeah, just I like, I don't know what's going on. Like, I'm trying to. That's, uh, that's why I'm curious <laughs> about uh, your insight into my match because I was making play. Cause no, dude, I, was, I was like. I was mind blown. I was like, every single time he has <laughs> two of the level four on the field at the same time, he just like yeah. okay. so where's the box here? goes off like crazy. Okay, so box is on the field. Um, that's good for him. That's really good. Um, that's good, but actually, well, let's see what he does here. Because I actually don't think, well, it, it depends what else he has in his hand. Yeah. Because he gets to clear the synchros, but the light flare will still float. Yep. Into Wait, another is, synchro. Is the light flare Wait. when this card leaves the field? Okay, yeah. Or, leaves, yeah, when it leaves the field. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So it is a, it's a true floater in every sense. As long as you control it. Yeah. So I guess if you creature swap it, it doesn't float for yeah, some for reason. Enemy controller. Uh, okay, so what yeah, is this? Yeah, this, this card's the one like I really know. This one's insane. This card's the one I really care. What does this one do? Uh, this one, your opponent can't target Guardians with card effects, and they also can't die by card effects. So it basically turns all the Slaughter Guardians into Magic Specters. Wow. And then during the draw phase, uh, if they draw a card for their normal draws, burn for 1,500. Huh. And then <laughs> during your opponent's end phase, you can activate one of these effects. You can either skip the draw phase of your next turn, or... Or the card has its other effects negated uh, until your opponent's standby phase. Holy crap! So either, so either you don't get the draw, or um, like you have to choose if you want to draw and uh, not have them take the fifteen hundred, essentially. Um, but like, even if, like at this point, I think it's very hard for the Yang Ding deck to come back because now I don't think they have an out to the the light shower this turn. And even if they are able to wall up, he's still on a two-turn clock. Yeah. So, but I've been pretty wrong before. Um, yeah. I have a very extensive track record with getting through the wrong. <laughs> yeah, so. same I turn up the light. But at the same time, I mean, it looks good because you never know what people have. Right. In their well, hands. we got the background. Yeah. We I mean, it, background. So. If, he, if he, like, per se, has, like, um, like a... One of those Yang Zing, uh, spell it like the what is it the? It's like Creation? the Ra like it's like the Rave Doctor's Gust, like where they um. Oh, the the nine branches. The nine yeah, branches. yeah. If he, if he has that, or even if he has like a a drowning, or um. Well, I don't think a drowning really. Well, yeah, the drowning. Well, yeah, drowning or storming would help him here. Yeah. But like honestly, if I'm the Cardian player, I mean again, which I'm not. Yeah. And he can play this however he wants. <laughs> um, if I'm the Cardian player, I'm honestly, like, not going to be pressured. I'm honestly would literally just sit there and do nothing. Um, because, like, he's on a two-turn clock. Yeah. If you, he, He's on a two-turn clock if you do nothing. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sitting on him might not be a bad idea. Who knew, Cardian, Cause, man? Who knew? Because he can't target this. Yeah. Or kill his card effects. His only out is that battle. 
So unless he has like a soul charge or something, I don't think he can really kill it. And if he's soul, and he's going to be at fifteen hundred, so soul charge won't really do anything either. I don't even know if like Yang Jing have a monster that they can go into. That's um... his only. I think his only play would be to would be either Leo if he top decks a Jack two. Well, actually, yeah. I might be about to. Well, let's see what happens here. Because he could do Leo if he top decks any Yang Jing. Yes. Because he could top it off with the box, yeah, and then bring back the Jack two. So we'll see how this goes. Um, this is mad fun. I'm just like, yeah. I'm trying to act like I know what's going on with Targum, but no, that's why I'm here. That's, why, <laughs> that's why you're here. You're the expert. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and Dragon sure. Dairies and all those other random. <laughs> other random oh my god! I was like shitting my pants in my match when I looked at my end game three. because <laughs> um, my end game three was absolutely bald, yeah. as in like the bad kind. Because <laughs> Not the I had a bunch. <laughs> it was, yeah. It, it was just crazy though, because um, we were sitting there, me and uh, Nick Walters, the the winner from round one, and we're just in from match one, and we're just like, like, holy crap! Because we we thought that you were just going <laughs> to end with like another crystal wing or something, and then right. two minutes later, you have like, um, just like some heretic monsters and like. Darkness metal. And yeah. When he attributed for that darkness metal, we're just like, holy crap, what is he doing? And I'm like, this is just nuts. And you have this huge board. It was... When he strikes the darkness metal, I actually. Like, because that strike really threw me off. Because if he strikes the atom, I mean, I still had the soul charge, so I still would have made a board. But, oh my god, there's the nine pillars. Okay, so what did he do right here? How did he pop that back? He's up? nine pillaring. I don't think he. Did he pop it? Oh, he did pop it. it. Yeah, okay. Like he it. So, oh, I know what happened. So the uh, the, the green thing, thing that he just summoned, um, if it's special summoned, which he did by tributing a thing, okay. um, he draws a card, and if it's a Cardian, you reveal it, and then you, uh, or sorry, you draw a card and reveal it, and then if it's a Cardian, you blow up a Stellar Trap, and that's on resolution, so you can't chain the nine pillars. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, that actually is really... Oh, and now he just did the uh, the, the clover with Thor, got his name. Yeah. Um, which lets him pop the box yet. Yeah. He um, could probably swing for game right here. He just uh, he doesn't know what that back row is. I would though. I would probably swing here. Um, I don't know a whole yeah, lot. Yeah, I'd of... probably still swing here. here I'm go. I'm curious as to why he summoned the. Uh, the pine and the... Oh, oh my god! Oh. I was literally... Oh. I wish I could... I wish I could finish my thought before oh. I put that. Because I was just going to say that I would... I probably... It could wow. be a misplay if he summons the two little guys in attack position. Because if he gets hit with a quaking or... Mainly quaking, then he's cut off from synchro Because uh -huh. uh -huh. the two guys are booked. And... All the all those synchros that you have access to require at least. And all three. he all he has left is just one card in the hand. So, um, yeah. Holy crap! Okay. That took a complete one eighty. Yep. I knew I knew that if it was like some kind of like like battle trap yeah. or something, it, it would have. Oh my gosh! That was just. That was crazy. That was crazy. So. <laughs> oh no. Oh no! He just got a set. Ugh. Well, the Yang, I mean, Yang Jing don't really have anything that yeah. can top deck other than pass this point. For sure. And he doesn't have a whole and lot of resources. So this is, I'm trying to say this as unbiased as I can, but I think we might be sitting here a while because yeah. the uh, <laughs> Lockman doesn't, Lock doesn't want to blow up anything on the Cardigan player's board because then it gives them room to make plays. Yeah, for sure. And Black Star doesn't want to kill, I forget their names. <laughs> their actual names, so apologies. Uh, but he doesn't want to kill the he a doesn't want to kill the Yang Zings because then they all tr float. Yeah. And even if he did want to go for the, you know, make a big synchro play, he can't because his board is clogged. Um, so I think I think we're literally yeah. locked in this until either a someone decks out or b someone just top decks the nuts. 
Uh, somebody or decks we out. might, or we might just have red. <laughs> this may, yeah, this may be a little bit. This may take a little bit for sure. Yeah. Now, I want to bring this up before you, before I, before uh, it happens. But I'm not sure because I know I, I played Magic Spectator, and I currently did. Um, and I know that if they're if they're all face down or if it's face down. Yes. They can still be tributed for the trap and for Majesty's Pegasus. Mm. I don't know if it's the case for the Cardians. Because you can special summon them by tributing a Flower Cardian. I yeah. don't know if you can do oh, that. Oh, man, he sent the Valor, too. Oh, that means he's really getting that spread. I mean, to be fair, Valor is not really doing anything in this matchup. So. Valor is good in um, in Pure and Zing Zing just because it, just because it is a Um like it, yeah. So, like, I can see why he's running that, definitely. Um, yeah, especially I personally, since, I'm not uh, a fan of Baylor, but uh, not that we have any uh, that many other hand traps to, to work with. Um, in the in the in the the good sense of it, it being a Baylor um, opened up a little bit of room for um, Cardians to possibly steal the match. So. Um, what they do? Oh my god, he's tribute summoning. Somehow I completely forgot that was a mechanic that you can do with Cardi. <laughs> I was I was like, oh, he's just gonna special summon it by it. Hang on, did he normal summon? I can't remember if he normal summoned something and then tribute it for the four. I'm not sure. I the um the one over here. Oh the... my god. Clover with bear, whatever that is. I don't know if he normal that or two or special it or. Yeah, well, well, this one can't be normal, but he tributed something, but I don't know if he normal summons that, and I can't check the log because I'm in Watchers. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't either. know. Yeah, I don't know if we want to PM somebody to check the log or whatever. Um, I trust that he knows what he's doing. So it looks like I mean. I, I assume that. I assume that. Um, and you don't really know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm Sorry? just like, uh, okay. So okay, so he's just going to. Okay, he can't. He can't kill him anywhere. Yeah. He can't kill him anywhere. So at least you won't have to super worry about it. Yeah. I mean, and assuming this is his still his board, he can't kill him next turn either. So he was two thousand. Or two thousand. Uh. Or was that a misclick? Might have been a misclick. Um. Or was there like? I don't. Yeah, I think he's catching it now. Oh, okay, yeah, a monster gains. You can discard this card. You're battling monsters. Gain one thousand attack until the end of the turn. So. Oh, is that a? They turn each gain. Yeah, they each gain a thousand. Um, wait, oh, wait. They each. When you're battling. Oh, battle's a mon oh. Battle's a monster. Battle's a monster. That was a monster. Okay, okay, I see what happened. Mm -hmm. So he didn't draw, so he summoned it and didn't, and used it and uh, used the effect to draw, but since he didn't draw a Cardian, it died. Yep. Um, and then uh, Lock, Lock Mid thought, uh, thought it set him into the grave from its own effect. Yep. Man, so pretty much if he, if he doesn't have a monster yeah. here, it could There's be. There's still two paths left in the deck. And as it stands, nothing can kill. Like if he draws any of the like defense Yang Zing, yeah. or really any any Yang Zing, because right now he's uh, Black Star still can't make a synchro play. Yeah. And none of nothing he has is big enough to kill the Yang Zing, um, even if it's boosted five thousand. Um, this is nuts, man. This is crazy. I'm just like, <laughs> yeah, this is really. Yang Zing yeah. versus Flower Guardian. This is a good match for sure. I'm just like, hopefully by the end really of the match, I, I would know uh, more of what yeah. Flower Guardians do. Yeah, I wish I, I wish I had more like insightful commentary as opposed to just like, just oh like, my god, oh my gosh, click in attack, <laughs> in attack position. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, okay, he's trying to suicide. I'm it. not sure if I agree with that play. I mean, again, he can have all this stuff. You know, put my foot in my mouth. Yeah. Um, so we'll ultimately see how that goes. I'm just not sure if I agree with that play, sacrificing it. I think I would have just said it. 
Actually, he no. still is in battle phase, so he is trying to. Yeah. Okay. No, actually, now that I think about it, that, that was definitely the right play because now he gets to take one of the monsters off the board, which means he has one less synchro material. I see. And there's only a few of the Cardians that actually can summon more. So, basically, in order for Blackstar to come back, he needs to make a synchro play. Um, and here's kind of the weakness of the Cardian deck. It's like, it's very resource intensive. And the only cards that really allow you to get more resources on board is the uh, either Super Koi Koi or the... I'm forgetting his name now. Gathering, I think, is the special number four. So, what, okay, you banish Fire Cardian from your grave. So, he banished the stacking, which lets him uh, add a Flower Cardian from grave to hand. Okay. Oh, okay. Wow. That's nice. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty good. I like all the spell cards are really good. It's just the Guardians themselves are very resource based. Yeah. So, the, so the spells have to be really good to compensate. So then he. Um, ban he this is the this is one of the few ones that doesn't have to tribute a monster. It can just special summon one. Okay. If you, if you uh, which is really really important. Or... Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, none of so them are think... the same level though, so you can't really go into big rank monsters. Like just kind of right. Well, there are. I mean, it's just, again, yeah, he's now back up to four cards, so he could have some resources right now. And if he top decks any of the level tens, which I don't know how many are left. Um, because I forget like how many of each level there are. Yeah. But if he top decks any of the level ten or just anything with a matching level, this game's over. Um or if he top decks anything that lets him summon more, like this game's still over. So but we'll see. So I think it I think a lot rides on this time draw. Mm -hmm. And it's another time. So it gets to or that was the time, no, the curtain. So it gets to live. Can the fire and wings actually, yeah. not um, can that not float at all? Or I sorry, mean, can it, so the the fire wing wing if he, if he what are you saying like if he spins that or if he destroys it it can't be how would that no, 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 no. I'm saying that uh, if he gets a tuner yeah. or like because if he gets a rank ten he can make yourself max and burn for two k yeah um okay I got or you. He, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah sorry I should I should have made that clear yeah I was like um, or <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> or he can make uh, the the level eight too. Will burn him for fifteen, which will leave him at three hundred. But it'll basically cut off his floater engine, and it also uh, so unless he contacts the pass. Like Yang Zings do not do well in a simplified game state. Yeah, and like so, basically, if this Swanee dies, like if this Swanee dies and doesn't get to float, see now he's adding back a tuner. So. So he might be able to yeah. at this point. So if he can get Calligrapher on the field, he can go in the Gustav Max. Is what you're saying? Or I believe it, so. It looks like I believe it's so. more than. I, it looks. I think it's level ten or eleven. I don't know. I can't count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, that's a level eleven. I can't count. Oh. <laughs> um, can you do that when you have a full board? Actually, top three cards your deck, special, special summon is going to be card in. Um, uh, I actually, I don't know if you can do that when you have a full board, because you can't special summon. Well, um, it's like, it's like with, um, Fluffles and Toy Vendor. Um, okay. Because, you would know uh, that. it doesn't say, okay, hold on, man. Wait, um, huh? I don't know because, like, with with Toy Vendor, it says you can special summon a floor. Right, right. Um, but this is just like for me, it's like or again how I look at it, and I'm not super familiar, but how I look at it, it's almost like trying to uh, uh, Raigeki an empty board, yeah. which you can't leak, which you can't legally do. Yeah, for sure. So I'm not 100% sure. But just reading the text, I don't think you can. But I don't know exactly what to do at this point since he's already seen the top three cards. And again, I'm not 100% sure. Well, 
if he's doing it, I think he may. He may know what he's doing. We never know. Yeah, because well, because it's not like he just forgets that his door is closed. Yeah, yeah, it's not like like yeah. that's not that's not something that you just like. Oh, I didn't know I have a full board. Yeah, so true. it would be either no, I can't do this, or you just wouldn't try. So, okay, uh, is he going five lights? Yeah, he's going back yeah. into yeah, um, that's it. Okay, this might be yeah, that's it. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yep. <laughs> Thank you.